Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back. I'm so excited that you are here again. This is Ashraf Sharif, and you are watching the Airport Engineering Channel. In the previous episodes, we gave detailed description about the different AGL patterns. We started from the approach lighting system, the runway system, and so on. Today we will be talking about the approach lighting system. Under the approach lighting system, there are several types of uh, AGL patterns. The first one is the simple approach lighting. The second is the precision approach category 1. Then the precision approach category 2 and precision approach category three. Let's talk now about the simple approach lighting. The simple approach lighting shall consist of a row of light on the extended line of the runway center line, extending from the threshold up to 420 meters if applicable. And it shall have a crossbar of lights at 300 meter distance from the threshold. This crossbar will be 18 or 30 meters of length. And the spacing between each light of the uh, lights forming this crossbar will be one to four meters. But as a pr best practice or a general practice, those could be spaced at 2.7 meters. However, for the lights forming the center line of this approach light, it could be spaced at 30 meters or 60 meters. The second type is the approach light category one or cat one. For the cat one, we have two different types. We have, uh, we could have uh, the Barrett type or B type and the Calvert type or the distance coded type. The Barrett type, it comes in uh, uh, this layout or the, the, this description. Uh, it comes with a center line extending, extended from the runway center line to 900 meters. This center line will be comprised of Barretts. Each Barrett shall have a length of not less than uh, four meters while the spacing of each light forming this barrett uh, should not uh, exceed 1.5 meters. Each barrett should have a spacing of 30 meters to the next one. And there should be a crossbar at 300 meters from the threshold. This crossbar will be 30 meters uh, uh, of length and uh, each light uh, and the lights forming uh, this crossbar will be spaced at 2.7 uh, meters. The second type of the precision approach CAT1 is the distance coded type or uh, Calvert type. As we can see that it, uh, it shall consist of a row of lights on the uh, extended uh, center line uh, of the runway up to 900 uh, meters. Uh, the first 300 meters of this center line is uh, formed by a single source light, meaning that at each position we'll have only one uh, light. Those lights are spaced at 30 meters. Uh, after the first 150 meter, we will have the first uh, crossbar. This crossbar will be formed uh, on each side. Uh, of the center line, it will be uh, bisected by uh, the center line, and on each side will have four light spaced at uh, uh, 2.7 uh, meters. Uh, while the second crossbar, uh, it will have uh, five lights at uh, each side, and again they are spaced at 2.7 meters. Um, the third uh, 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 segment uh, at uh, uh, between the 300 meter to the uh, 450 meter um, there will be 
two source of light at the center line. So uh, in this segment, uh, as we can see, two source of lights will be there and they are spaced at 1.5 uh, meters. The same will happen on the next uh, segment. Two source uh, uh, of lights will be there and the crossbar as usual will have additional light uh, on each side, okay, at the extremities. And again, it will be on the same uh, uh, spacing, which is 2.7 uh, meter, as we can see here. The last 300 meters, uh, the, the center line will be formed by three lights. And uh, again, the same spacing will be kept, 1.5 meter uh, between uh, 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 each uh, light. And uh, the crossbar, the, the last crossbar will be at 750 meters from the threshold. It was to say that the acceptable tolerance uh, for the uh, uh, center line uh, angle with respect to the uh, runway center line should not exceed 15 uh, minutes. The third type or pattern is the precision approach CAT 2 slash 3. To understand the pattern of uh, this category, we need only to highlight the difference between uh, this pattern and the CAT 1 pattern, because actually there is a slight difference uh, between the two uh, types or categories. As we can see, if we take the uh, Barrett type, for instance, to upgrade a CAT 1 approach, uh, Barrett type uh, from CAT1 to CAT2, all what we need is to add uh, double rows or two rows of uh, uh, red lights uh, extended from the threshold up to 300 meters, as we can see. Those rows will be, uh, 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 as we said, on each side and it will be formed by uh, three lights. Each parrot will be comprised of three lights. As usual, the length of this parrot uh, should not be less than four meters. Uh, however, the spacing between each light should not exceed 1.5 uh, uh, meter. Also, additional crossbar will be added at 150 meter from the threshold. While for the culvert, type if we want to up upgrade a, a, a culvert uh, type uh, cat1 approach uh, from uh, the cat1 to the cat2 all what we need to do is again adding a two rows of light but in this case each barrett will be or each a group of lights will be uh, uh, comprised of four uh, uh, lights and uh, the additional uh, crossbar uh, will be again at 150 uh, meter and the spacing between the two rows will be 18 to 22.5 meters. At the end, it worth to say that uh, either in the Calvert type or in the Barrett type, those uh, two rows of uh, uh, red lights, which called uh, supplementary uh, lighting, uh, they should match the, the, the touchdown zone uh, lighting in terms of width and spacing between uh, uh, barrels. In some cases where an airfield need to uh, improve uh, the guidance provided by the approach light, it's recommended to provide the sequence uh, a flasher at the outer 600 uh, meters from uh, the approach. This light will be, as we can see here, uh, provided at the center line and it will give the uh, 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 flashing light, as we can see here, aiming to the uh, or uh, pointing to the uh, runway center line. At the end, we wish that we succeed to give you a light portion of information that may help you to improve your knowledge or it may help you in your career. Please don't forget to like and share the video and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And it will be great if you like our Facebook page. Thank you and see you next week.